From Universal Studios in Hollywood, California, it's home and family. And when we come back, we'll share quick and easy hair tips to keep your hair looking great this summer. Stay with us. Well, speaking of the sun, the sun is out, the heat is on, and here are some great tips to get your hair ready for summer. Is celebrity hairstylist and stylist Billy Lowe. Hello. Hello. Thank you. So good to be here. Carrying on back. with yeah, the summertime trend. A lot of people are traveling this season, and we're going to share some quick tips and techniques on how to style your hair, what's the look for summer, what to take when you travel, and how to protect your hair in sun, sand, and surf. We're excited. Perfect. Very nice. And welcome back again. Yes, it's officially summer, and here with the best hairstyles and protective tips to help your hair this summer is stylist Billy Lowe. So we're going to ask you the number one hairstyle for this summer. You bet. Well, it's always good to be here, and everyone is seeing this everywhere. It's just the cal casual California beachy wave. And what I love about this technique, and we see it a lot with curling irons and with flat irons, we can get the look wrapping hair around a curling iron, but this technique is what's called barrel curls. So while we're blow drying the hair, we're actually just setting the hair up in barrel curls and clipping as we go along. It just reduces the amount of heat uh, that, that we're that goes applying. In okay, yep. so uh, how is, what is the favorite way to actually achieve this? Well, I think we actually worked with this producer, Jill, and did some pre-taping earlier Wonderful. on how to get the blowout. And, and All right, let's look. take a look. Explain to so us what So we just doing. start with a really loose blowout, taking kind of larger sections, maybe two or three inch sections, blow drying those sections nice and smooth. I started with a little prep and then moving through each section and as the section is dry, wrap it around my fingers and then clip with a little uh, duckbill clip. There we go, just quick and easy. And then again, we don't need a curling iron afterwards. We're just taking that section. We can apply a little bit of hairspray if we'd like, just to get extra hold. Wrap it around your fingers, kind of larger sections, and clip. Quick and easy to do. We worked all the way around the head, and then once it's done, once it's set, we have this look here, which is a head full of barrel curls. I like to leave this front section out because I like a little bit more of a casual, loose, uh, unstructured look around the face line, which keeps that nice and soft. So I'm going right. to start taking so this out. So you're going to finish this look on our beautiful Jill, who, Absolutely. by the way, is a producer here at and Home you and know Family. What, Christina, oh, I believe yes, this is here. actually so much healthier for your hair because you're not using the curling <laughs> yeah, iron and the right. hot yeah, rollers. Right. And, and you can see the shape that the curls Ooh. get as they just drop right out. Hello. Well, and then, <laughs> Jill, you can actually take, you can shape these however you'd like. Right. Keep I never knew you could do this. loose as you want. Yeah, yeah you bet. I don't want to pull it. Speaking of when you were mentioning about the hot blow dryers, Kim, about what kind of products do you, are, do you use to protect your hair in this? Well, summer? this is really good. And anything with sort of a sunflower extract in it is going to be really, really great. Sunflower is a natural UV defender. Cool. We also want to think about fabric as well. So you can see kind of the nice movement that this will fabric? already get. Fabric? What do you I mean by fabric? fabric? Well, we, we hear of SPF sun protect, <laughs> skin protection, uh, sun protection factor, but we also have like sun protecting fabric. So think about fabrics, scarves, oh, large hats that oh, we hats. can use as well. Oh, All have... kinds of things that we can keep the hair nice uh, and healthy with this summer. And once again, we'll just kind of work through, keep those nice and loose. Are you oh, available every you can morning? See what yeah. that looks oh, like. and that's really nice. It's very casual. Yeah. Right. And again, we stayed off of you know the extra the curling ironing and flat ironing and that sort of thing is just uh, so much damage to the hair oh, in the yeah. summertime. And we just got nice, full, sort of loose California curls and, and toss well, them with Well, you know that. what? I come from the school of the higher the hair, the closer to God. So <laughs> I love that big hair yeah, look. Yeah, yeah. I really do. Nice and full. And again, this look, just kind of being that sexy beachy wave, is just a lot less structured. You know, we see that really yeah. tight curl, yeah. but this is just a really, really cool. It's really great. Do you use any products on it after you've uh, styled it to keep it uh, in shape? Like a, like a spray? Well, like, like a sea salt spray is oh, really, really good. because it, it. And in, again, huh. this look, it actually just a lot of space in the hair mm -hmm. and a sea salt spray is going to be really, really good. What do you now, have there? You, what is that? This is actually one by Aquage, which I love working with. It's just a texture sea salt spray. So if you don't that have, yeah, so sorry, if you, if you don't have one at home, I've actually worked with this and you can make your own using uh, a water bottle, uh, warm water, and a little bit of Epsom salt. Uh, mix that up, shake salt? that up. Salt? I never yeah, would Epsom think to salt. put salt oh in gosh, your there's hair. There's so much. Ep it's just like being at the beach. Okay. Just that, that salty oh sort of that surfy is. beach hair. That's, that's what you get from being uh, at the beach. Um, always good to use um, leave-in conditioners on your hair before swimming. Never let um, chlorine water or ocean water dry Chlor in your hair. hair. Yeah. You bet. Absolutely. It, it does cause discoloration and it affects the color uh, of the hair as well. So, so you would recommend after you've been in chlorine to wash your hair immediately? Shampoo right away. Shampoo right. and condition right away. Now if you've forgotten to or at the end of summer if your hair is feeling a little bit spongy, you can add a little baking soda into oh. a clarifying shampoo, mix that up, and that helps just release a lot of that buildup that, that's been in your hair this Very summer. Nice. Absolutely. Right. Now, this I found, and I know you're going to love it. This I is know. a sunscreen stick. 
And we forget about different parts of the head that need protection. Um, and if you yeah, can't find something burn. like this, you can also um, dab or maybe spray a little bit of sunscreen it's onto sweet. something right around the hairline or yeah. even in the part. How oh. many times in your life have you burnt your part and then, All the time. And then a couple of days later it flakes <laughs> off and it's like, yeah, it's so yeah. gross. Yeah. Yeah. And, and our yeah. skin is so, so sensitive around the hairline, so we don't want to forget that as well. And guys, the back of the neck. We don't want to forget the oh, guys nice. this season. It's always yeah. red, so, yeah. Uh, large hats, baseball caps, just a lot of protection this, I this love season. It. Thank you. Yep. Really wonderful tips. Thank yeah, you so yeah. much, thank Billy. You. Okay, there yeah. you go, Kim. And thank you to Jill. And you thank can you. follow <laughs> Billy on Twitter at Billy Loaf for more of his tips and tricks.